What's up everybody, we are back with another exotic weapons in catalyst video and this one is on the Hawkmoon exotic hand cannon which is a primary kinetic weapon. Now if you have seen my videos before, this next part I would go over the exotic weapons perks. However, Hawkmoon is a special exotic in which it does not have curated roles and that means each version of this weapon you obtain is going to have different perks with the exception of the magazine and the kill tracker. For the magazine, it is Alloy Magazine, which gives it faster reloading when the magazine is empty, and then of course the kill tracker for PvE and PvP. Here in just a little bit, I'm going to give you what is considered the god rolls for this weapon for those other three perks for both PvP and PvE. Now as for the intrinsic trait, it is Paracausal Shot. Final blows and precision kills with Hawkmoon grant stacks of Paracausal Charge. The final round in the magazine deals bonus damage based on the number of stacks. Stowing Hawkmoon on the final round removes the bonus. So when you're getting those final blows and precision kills with Hawkmoon, on the left side of the screen you'll see your paracausal charge start to increase and it goes up to a times 7 and when you hit that times 7 you'll hear the hawk call and that means your 8th shot will have that bonus damage. And that's without the catalyst because the magazine size without the catalyst is 8. With the catalyst, it increases the magazine size to 9, so it gives you one extra shot to try and get that bonus damage. Additionally, the catalyst grants increased handling, reload speed, and weapon range based on the number of stacks of paracausal charge. So, how to obtain the Hawkmoon Exotic Hand Cannon? So before I get into how to obtain Hawkmoon in Destiny 2 today, I'm going to give you a little bit of history about the weapon because Hawkmoon is one of the oldest exotic weapons in Destiny if you are on PlayStation. So Destiny 1 released in September 2014 for the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and the Xbox One. However, at that time, Sony had this deal with Bungie, actually it was probably really with Activision, but anyways they had this deal in which some content was timed exclusive on the PlayStation platforms. And that happened with every major release up through Forsaken. So Forsaken was the final content that had that timed exclusive content for PlayStation platforms because Bungie left Activision in 2019. Anyways. So with Hawkmoon, it was part of that timed exclusive content for year one of Destiny 1. So those of us on PS3 or PS4, myself on the latter, we had Hawkmoon for one full year until it became available on the Xbox platforms when the Taken King expansion released in September 2015. Now back in Destiny 1, regardless of the platform, it was obtained as a world drop exotic, which means it can be obtained from any exotic engram that dropped from any activity. And there is a difference between the Hawkmoon and Destiny 1 and Hawkmoon and Destiny 2. Both of them deal a bonus damage shot. However, back in Destiny 1, it had this lucky shot in which three random bullets could deal that bonus damage. Now, you wouldn't necessarily get all three of them in your magazine to have that shot, but there was that chance. It also had much better range. But in Destiny 2, you have to have a bit more skill because you have to land all seven of those kills to get that eighth bonus damage shot. So we fast forward to Destiny 2 and Hawkmoon was not added to the game until Season 12, Season of the Hunt, and that season ran from November 2020 to February 2021. It was the season that ran concurrent to the launch of the Beyond Light expansion. Now during Season 12, it was added about mid-season and a Hawkmoon was obtained from an exotic mission called Harbinger. And when you completed that mission, you obtained both Hawkmoon and its exotic catalyst. And then subsequent completions of that exotic mission got you a Hawkmoon with different weapon perks on it, so different roles. Now when the Witch Queen expansion launched in February 2022, it removed almost all of the seasonal content from year 4 of the game, which included that Harbinger exotic mission to obtain Hawkmoon and its exotic catalyst, so both got a new source to obtain them. Now because Hawkmoon is a special exotic that does not have curated roles, it was not added to the exotic archive. Instead, Xur sells it, the one who appears on the weekend, not the one who appears in his treasure hoard in eternity. Now Xur can appear in one of three locations on the weekend, one of them is here on Nessus, you load into the Watcher's Grave and go where my guardian goes here on screen. 
The other location you can appear in is in the European Dead Zone. You load into the Winding Cove and you go straight back on the mountain where that crashed ship is. And then the other location is in the tower over in the hangar. So when you come here to zero, you're going to go over to his second page and you'll find Hawkmoon right here. It's going to cost you 125,000 Glimmer, 200 Legendary Shards, 1 Exotic Cypher, and 1 Ascendant Shard. Now when you purchase Hawkmoon, these are going to be the perks you're going to want to look out for if you're trying to get one that's considered a god roll for PvE or PvP. Now the barrel and grip, it's going to be the same across both. So for the barrel, either hammer forged rifling, polygonal rifling, or small bore, and then for the grip, either smooth or heavy grip. Now for the origin trait, PvP players are going to want rangefinder, opening shot, or eye of the storm, while PvE players are going to want surplus or killing wind. This Hawkmoon here was actually okay for PvP. Now as for Hawkmoon's exotic catalyst, to get the catalyst, it is a random drop from the core playlist activities, so that's the Vanguard Operations, Gambit, or Crucible. Once you have the catalyst, to upgrade the catalyst, it takes 700 kills using Hawkmoon. So to recap the video, to obtain Hawkmoon, you can purchase it from Xur, the version who appears on the weekends on either Nessus, the European Dead Zone, or in the Tower. To get its catalyst, it is a random drop from completing the core playlist activities to Vanguard Operations Crucible or Gambit. And then to upgrade the catalyst, it takes 700 kills using Hawkmoon. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like down below. Also make sure to subscribe because I have other videos like this available and I'll see you in one of my other ones.